Beep, beep. Hey everybody, this is Driving with Jeff, and uh, I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about how do you eat in the truck? You know, uh, do you like spaghetti? Do you like to eat? Well, I do, uh, and, it, and it, it sticks out here and shows me all the time. But my wife, my wonderful wife, made spaghetti, I don't know, three weeks ago, I guess, and we ate some at the house really really good but you know what I like better than fresh spaghetti leftover spaghetti isn't it better once it's been in the fridge all night and, uh, or, and, and tastes better the next day and you can put a little cheese on it or, or shake some little parmesan on it and this is uh, is uh, ground beef and spaghetti and other sauces that she loves to make spaghetti sauce all that stuff Uh, some people might want to know, well, how do I eat in the truck? Well, I do eat snacks, and I do drink uh, uh, sodas, although this week I've cut back a lot because my wife bought these uh, snapples for me, and I've been drinking those, and they got real sugar in them, and that metabolizes my body better, and uh, so I've been drinking those. <laughs> my wife puts these in the, in the freezer, and she throws it for me little freezer little thing right here and uh, it holds two meals unless you're a big eater and you can make one out of it. Uh, sometimes I just can't help myself but anyway I got paper plates I got my silverware and if you're wondering where I, I store those I store those above my microwave and I got some plates I need to get me some more bowls for my cereal cereal and I got some bananas up here I need to eat those I ate one already and I got some other stuff in there hand sanitizer salt and pepper and all that stuff but it's really uh, really convenient and uh, it's right next to my top bunk and it's right above my microwave well I got my microwave set up here with the extension cord that I have plugged in down here in my generator and uh, I've got that turned on and that powers my microwave so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put another plate on top of that so it doesn't splatter all over my microwave and I'm going to pop it in there for about two minutes I'd say and then I'll uh, I'll listen to it I mean, I'll look at it then and see if it's hot enough to eat. And uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. Maybe in the meantime, I can talk to you. Let me set this thing for for two minutes. i just press the two there. And let's see, it's counting down from two minutes. And uh, while that's cooking, there's my bunk area. I got my two pillows I sleep with. And I keep my junk on the bed. That's that's the stuff I took out of my microwave, because that's where I store it. I got some uh, red beans and rice, and uh, what else do I have here? Let's see, Louisiana red beans and rice. And then in this pack, I got some freeze-dried hot apple cobbler mix. Whew, golly, man, I don't know whether to stand on my head or my feet. And I got some sardines. Everybody likes sardines. Good old King Oscar sardines. Wild caught, too. Two layers. Wow, man. Man, I'm in heaven, ain't I? Sardines are good. And I, of course, keep my stuff on my bunk. And I don't put it underneath my bunk. And there's my top bunk right there. I throw stuff up there, too. And then over here, I have a another uh, compartment and uh, it's junky I got my uh, Clorox wipes in there I got some uh, I got some stuff to make my ultimate fresh I use dryer sheets uh, instead of uh, putting those uh, little Christmas trees up and things like that so I use dryer sheets and I put about two or three out uh, every now and then and make the truck smell good got my baby powder got my hand lotion 
I got all kind of stuff up there. I got some paper towels and uh, stuff like that that I use. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's see. There's my paper towels. There's my spaghetti. It should be, hopefully, hot enough. I'll open her up here and check it out. Hmm. Let's see. The plate feels hot enough. And if I have a little steam coming off of it, something like that, mm, I don't know. It feels hot enough to me. So, let's see, it didn't hardly splatter, but uh, I don't want it to splatter all over my nice, clean microwave that I keep clean and carry with me everywhere I go. So, I'm going to throw that plate off to the side there and I'm going to take this plate mm, let me smell it here oh yeah that feels hot enough got some good steam coming off of it now that the spaghetti is hot I'm going to do one more thing I reach up here in my cabinet and get some good old Texas peat Man, you can't beat this stuff. This stuff's made in North Carolina. And they call it Texas Pete. And let's see, where's it made? Uh, made in uh, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. How about that? Yeah, see there? Man, I've been eating this stuff for years. I uh, used to uh, eat Louisiana hot sauce, too. And uh, that's just as good as Texas Pete to me. Although it's a little different. All right, let me open this up. I got one hand holding my camera because I, I don't have my stand with me. And then I got, so I'm just using my hand and shaking it around a little bit, which I should have done with a cap on. All right, kick that, whoa! Shoot, man, that's gonna be good. Now, right, put the lid back on my Texas Pete. Put my fork over here on my plate. Put the lid back on my spaghetti. I'll have that tomorrow. And then down here, I have my refrigerator. And I'm going to put this back in the fridge. I got some other things in there. See, I got I got some Snapple to drink. But this time. I think I'll finish my tea that uh, I had at the house the other day opened up and I can finish that off so I'm gonna put the my red beans and rice and cobbler pie back in the back in the microwave and I'm gonna sit down and eat I know it's gonna be good uh, you can't beat a good truck meal so that's gonna be so good in fact let me take a little bite of it here yeah Oh boy, that's going to be really good, especially that Texas Pete on there. Mmm, and it's hot enough too. Oh my goodness, I don't know whether to wiggle my ears or, or shut my eyes. So, till next time, we'll uh, keep on trucking. Y'all have a good day now.